On November 24, 1942, Rabbi Stephen Wise, the most respected and powerful Jewish leader in America, held a press conference in Washington, D.C. The State Department had confirmed that the Nazis were killing European Jews as part of a plan of mass extermination. Probably the most horrible morning of my life. A small story in the Washington Post on an inside page with a uh, headline which nearly knocked me over, which simply said, Rabbi Wise says two million Jews slain. And I just, I, I read it again and again, you know, I, I didn't believe what I was reading. I ran to see the Assistant Secretary of State, Adolf Burley, and I sat there waiting and then finally he saw me. He had a few minutes in between appointments. I said, what are you going to do about it? And he says, what can we do about it? And I said, surely you don't say that the government of the United States is going to do nothing. I say, I am one individual here, a foreigner, and I know that I'm going to do something. I mean, what good it'll do, I don't know, but I know I'm going to do it. I made a speech that evening, which in essence said, from now on, we are going to get up in the morning and go through the day and go to bed at night, trying to do something to save the Jews of Europe. 